close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in as it, as it goes out. Notice if it feels comfortable. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change the rhythm. Make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to see what kind of breathing feels good right now. And choose one spot in the body to observe. Actually, the breath is something you can feel throughout the body. It's not just the air coming in and out through the nose. But it's the movement of the body that allows the lungs to expand, the rib cage to expand, so the air can come in and go out. That's part of the breath as well. So notice where in the body it feels most obvious, and now the body is moving to allow the breath to come in, now it's moving to let it go out. And stay with the spot where it's obvious, and watch it, and make sure that spot at least is comfortable. Try to stay there as continuously as you can. What we're doing is giving the mind an anchor here in the present moment, so it can see what's going on inside itself. If the mind is running around all the time, you can't see anything at all very clearly. You just see bits and snatches. It's like a person running around. If you ran around the monastery once and someone asked you, what was the tree like over in that corner? What was the, the tent over in this place? And you saw a blur, but you didn't see anything very clearly. You say, how about the snake that was down by the road? You didn't see that one at all because you're just running right past. If you want to see these things, you have to at the very least walk very slowly. And to see them very distinctly, you want to stand still. It's the same with your mind. All kinds of things are going on in the mind, good and bad. Greed comes up, kindness comes up, anger comes up, discernment comes up, and you want to be able to see them for what they are. Otherwise you get everything all mixed together, things that seem to be skillful or look to you, things that look skillful to you may not be skillful at all, and vice versa. And then if it's something unskillful and it takes over your actions, okay, then you're really in trouble. You do things that you later regret. Where you're making the decision, you're making the decision right now. But part of the mind is not making the decision at all. It's off someplace else running around. You want your whole mind to be right here as you're making decisions about what to do and what to say and what to think. Otherwise the decisions get muddled. And you're not really clear about why you do things. If you want to see what's going on clearly, you have to stay still right here where the decisions are being made. And the breath is your anchor for staying in the present moment, because when you're with the breath, you're in the present. You can't watch a past breath, you can't watch a future one. You can watch this one right here, right now. And when you're here with the breath, okay, you're also here with what's going on in the mind. Then you can see if an unskillful decision is being made, you can unmake it right in time. That way you, saw, you spare yourself a lot of grief. So learn how to be here in the present moment in a way that feels good. The breath comfortable coming in, the breath comfortable going out. And you can maintain a steady gaze on what's going on. That way you can direct it in directions that, where you really want it to go. Your mind, your, your thoughts, your words, your deeds, you can direct them where you think they'll do the most good. And that way your life becomes a life that's really worth living. When you're doing good for yourself and good for others, there's a sense of satisfaction that comes with that, that nothing else can buy.